the Big Sky Conference. Michael Stedman, part of the Travis DeCure starting lineup. In fact, the head coach says he could score more points this season than anyone in his tenure. Hmm. As for USC, they poked it away from him. So his first field goal. Like Isaiah Mobley's activity here early, really affecting the game defensively and offensively. This is Whitney with the ball for Montana. Josh Vasquez into the game. He feeds the post. Kyle Owens, too strong. Weak side board to Evan. Bauman for USC for floor spacing. If, if you do post up or, or let Isaiah and Evan play in the paint, Bauman, a sniper from the three-point line. Didn't hit one the other night, but he is going to hit some. He's going to have some big nights from behind. And we talked about this the other night. I think Evan and Isaiah both, because they've been good for so long, have been doubled for so long, they understand how to play out of the double team. But it's coming. film gets bigger the more games they play the more they're going to figure out what he's doing like this and he's going to get guarded so then it becomes how fast can you get your shot off two offensive rebound starters on the floor right now vasquez short clock they beat it egan rattles out and evan goes to get a contested evan with a short clock trying to expand his range Two empty opportunities for Montana as Bannon missed on the weak side. Good win to a cutting Mobley. There's his first field goal. To roam the paint and block shots, he's actually got to guard the post. Same thing on the offensive end. You can't just throw it up to him. He's got guys that can play him that are strong. He's got to learn to seal guys like that. Good up fake. And brings the whistle on Michael Steckel, player of the year. Did it with more athleticism, toughness. That's against a team that was picked second behind Eastern Washington in both the coaches and media poll in the big sky. Nice. Tough to defend that. Throw down with two hands. One of the best second jumpers I've seen in this league, Okongwu. If there was a ball, if he went up and came back down, he was up again. There you go. Right on cue from Ethan Anderson. Only Trojan who's played and yet to score. Here he's on we the talked catch. about him on Wednesday night and what he's going to provide. Is this four space or three point bomber? Regularly shoots over 40 from three in practice. Figure out what he's doing like this, and he's going to get guarded. So then it becomes how fast can you get your shot off? Two offensive rebounds. Scoring drought for SC. They've missed their last five from the floor. There it is. So disappointed when the Sonics left Seattle, but still remains a really big basketball fan. Got to know him, went to a few shows, and the author of A River Runs Through It. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Dana Carvey from Wayne's World. Yeah. Saturday Night Live. Born in Missoula. He lives in Missoula. Even a Pac-12 free throw shooting. Nothing affects my free throw shooting, JB. <laughs> You're a little off kilter, I don't know. Still getting all 10? Bring your wall. <laughs> Fighting for the board. Owens got it up. And Evan secures it for SC and is fouled in the backcourt. Field minute 19 up 14. Well, that's that's it. It's such a different season this year. We don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the future holds in terms of all your games. He'll take two that way instead.